2009 Subaru Outback came in uh, with a bad motor. It ran it out of oil, burnt the bearings up. So we pulled the engine, pulled the oil pan, of course. We found all kinds of garbage in there. Uh, so it needed a motor. They want anywhere from 1900 to up to $3,000 for the motors for the 2009 and back VVT Subaru motors. Uh, mainly because the transmissions don't go out in them and Subarus are really expensive right now. So we went looking for a motor. We found a 2011 Subaru motor with decent miles for a thousand dollars shipped out of New York out of a wrecked Subaru So we ordered it got it in and We had to pull the intake off because the intake does not match up. So we pulled it off uh, The crossover pipe. It's good. It works the heads they work the timing stuff is all the same uh, the sensors are all the same for the most part, you know, depending on model and year, you might have to change some stuff. Um, the big difference is the oil pan, which as you can see, is different. And you'll see, you notice there's a couple, what looks like bolts sticking way out of the oil pan. Well, what we had to do was put a nut on the bottom of these bolts, because we were kind of working on it late at night when all the parts stores were closed, and... Had to make do with what we had. There's the front four bolts in the 2010 and up are bigger than the front four bolts in the nine and down. Uh, they're different and they're longer. Uh, they're also, two of them are in a different position. I'll try to get a video of it down here. I can't really see too well. Um, but if you look, you can kind of see where I drilled them out. You have to drill two new holes for the bolts for the oil pan to bolt onto this block. That's the major difference. That and you also have to remove uh, the pickup tube and splash shield from your old motor and install it into the new one because the 2011 motor has a two-piece oil pan it's completely different however most of the bolt holes line up but i think it was this bolt hole here and this bolt hole here were slightly off uh, from what was on the 2009 and back motor but you know you can make it work because that oil pan will not set down in that vehicle it just won't it's made different shaped different you can't make it work so hopefully this will help any of you guys out there that have a an older subaru and you're struggling to find a motor because it's just insane what they want for them you can get the 10 and up motors cheaper because the transmissions go out in those all the time the valve bodies do Nobody wants to fix it, so the motors from them are a little easier to find, a little cheaper, and you can make them work. It was a little different a few years ago. That's how we figured this out, because you get these motors cheaper, and these were running $3,000, whereas these were running 1000 So we've done this once before, and I figured I'd make a little video. If you got any questions, just put them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you.